bother about that. This has nothing to do with you. about my daughters? That's about me. Diane, your dad, dying of cancer under your nose, and yet you are still stupid enough to stop your treatment. It didn't do him any good, did it? He had a peaceful death. Peaceful. Yeah, one minute he was there, next minute he was gone. Why do you have to go on and on about such a terrible thing? I've been, and I swear to you, I will never try it again. Too right you won't, because if you do, I'll drag you through the square by those cheap extensions of yours and let everyone know exactly what you are. Now get out. Well, I did what you didn't have the guts to do. And what's that? Look your own daughter in the eye. The daughter you abandoned. Here, let me tell you about it. Shut up, What's the matter? Can't get your tongue. I'm gonna stop it! You know, you're a hard, thoughtless woman, and I've had enough of you. As soon as you find somewhere to live, I want you to move out. Now, if you'll excuse me, I want to visit Dorothy because she is somebody who I do care about. You just can't leave it, can you, you vindictive cow? Linda, come on. It must be hard work carrying that sour face around all day. Is that the best you can come up with? You're a deluded fool, Linda. My Mick is innocent. I mean, when are you not going to get that into your head? He's done nothing wrong. And you, you vicious mare, you better wind your neck in. Get away from me! No, it's me! Why are you running Leave away from me us? alone? Keep away! You shove off, what? If you come anywhere near me, I'm going to call the police. I mean it! Just come. We just want to talk to you. Well, I don't want to talk to you. Please, sir. Just keep Cora. away! You're coming with her now. I am not! Cora. Ain't you meant to be in court? All you need to concern yourself with is getting me a drink. You've clearly had more than enough. I'm going to have to kindly ask you to leave. Oh, how oh, oh, mighty, because Mick's left you in charge. He ain't going to be happy when I tell him you turned away a paying customer. Mick don't want bitter old drunks in his pub. Respectable punters will take one look at you and run screaming for the eels. It looks like the punters have left because of the sight of your saggy old mush behind the bar. Shut the door on your way out. You like it to have your granddaughter looking out for you? You don't deserve it. You're jealous because your family don't give a monkeys about you. You know what they call you? A lackey. Look what the cat spewed up. Coming in here, lowering the tone. We've got a nice, quiet lunch in the field, though. I've never had to beg in my life. Except for a bloke. So you're back on your feet. That's that's great news, isn't it, Mick? Yeah. I'll drink to that. You'll drink to anything. Please, babe, not today. I've got enough going on. Right then, a large gin for the lady. On your feet. On your back, more like. In the gutter. Done. Give me here! You see? Mr. Coker, I've just found this tramp with a thieving mitts in your spread. Shall I call the police? Oh, I don't think that will be necessary, no. A couple of scotch eggs for heaven's sake. Here, you have them. Stealing from your friends and family. Where's your pride, woman? Oh, I promise you, I'll never sink as low as you to put food on the table. Too much, Jim. Let's get her outside. And don't get come near me! Sylvie told my stand what you did in Ramsgate. <coughs> Shirley wasn't the only one to keep secrets in that caravan. What did she do for crying out loud? Come on, babe. Tell them. Tell them how you made your living as a baby farmer. They went to her in their hour of need. Like Shirley. And she took them in. And then she sold their babies to the highest bidders. She sold babies, and you knew about this. So, instead of looking down your snout at me, why don't you take a look in the mirror, if you can bear it? Turn your ear. Oh! I've just seen Abby. How could you? You 
show your face here. You're barred from this funeral, you understand? Her mother made it perfectly clear. You want to know how many tranquilizers it took to get her in that car? You've caused enough damage to last a lifetime. Her whole life. She'll be you in that coffin. <laughs> 